Hi again and good afternoon. So my name is Sussex Sandra and welcome to my channel. This is a video that I've been promising to do for bloody months to be honest. I'm sure I first mentioned this back in January and I still haven't got around to doing it yet. But basically I promised way back then that I was going to do a video of some new lipsticks that I'd purchased. So I have bought quite a few lipsticks and I have been given some lipsticks as well by PR and I literally just want to show you some of the new lipsticks that I have in my collection um, and I'm going to put those on for you now. Right so shall we go through them? Let's start. This is one I bought from, where did I buy this from? I think I bought this, yeah I bought this from ASOS, it's just a little collection in there. I will put the, the correct prices up above um, but this is what it is, it's called Hacks and I just really liked that colour and it's a lip kit so I'm assuming it's a lip liner and a lipstick because I can't remember because as I said I probably bought this a few months ago so let's open this up and see what's in here. Oh wow, okay. So it looks like that on the inside. So I'm assuming that's a lip pencil or a sponge. I'm not sure what that is really. So we've got that, we've got a lip colour and I'm assuming that's a gloss. It's not the colour I expected it to be. And what is this? And we've got this on top. It's like a little glitter thing, I think. Okay, so it's a proper little kit. Right, so let's go. So we've got here, let's have a look. Yeah, so this is like a little glitter kit which you put on top. Wow. Right, so this is just a rubberized thing to, I'm assuming, to put the glitter thing on. So I thought there would have been a lip liner in here. We've got this clear liquid, so I'm assuming that's to help to give the gloss effect. And then we've got the colour. Right, so let's put this on first. Now, I need to put a lip liner on. So go and buy that colour. I am going to use this lip liner. This lip liner I got from, I don't know. I got this from H&M, actually. So it's a lip liner I got from H&M. So let's do the lip liner first. Okay, so I quite like this little kit. So as I said, I got this one from ASOS. It's quite nice actually, isn't it? It's like three different looks you can get from this. So definitely one for going out or for special occasions, summer festivals, all that kind of thing. I, I, I like it and it's comfortable. It's um, The glitter is a little bit gritty, but nothing much. But I like this, that's a nice one. Okay, so I'm just going to use these wipes we've got in the pink parcel this month just to wipe that off and I'll do the next lipstick. The next lipstick I got was one I bought from NARS. Um, not quite sure why I bought this one, but I just fancied the colour of this one when I saw this one, so I bought this from NARS. Again, can't remember where I purchased it from. So it's in the shade Palais Royal. And I think this was a, a, a stick lipstick, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so it's a stick lipstick. All right, so there you go. It's a nice, good red, deep red colour. Perfect for my colouring. Very moisturising, really pigmented. Yeah. I'm all about colours like this, easy to wear. It's the kind of thing I'd keep in my handbag, so I've always got it available if I need to slap on some lip colour. But nice, pigmented, hydrating, 
all good. NARS never lets me down when it comes to lip colours. Right, next, you may remember um, earlier on this year, I actually, was it earlier on this year? It was late last year, um, but I only filmed it about January, February. I got a PR collection from Lush and they included some lipsticks. There were two lipsticks I gave away to um, a giveaway winners um, because the colours I knew wouldn't be quite suitable for me, but I did keep three. So these are the three I, I kept for myself. So I'm going to put these on now and these are from Lush, don't forget. So this first one is colour, um, this is colour Minsk. Now I've actually worn this a few times because I really like it. So there you go, that's the colour. So this is what I'd call a nice good nude brown for those of us who have got deep skin tones so i'll put this on so you can see so this is the color minsk on me see that that's such a good color isn't it yeah so this is from lush minsk then there was this color called bissau well, that's how i've pronounced it don't know if that's focusing So it's another new brown colour. This is the colour Bissau. See how good that looks? So it's like a nice brownie red. It's almost like a russet colour. It's a good colour for autumn, but to be honest, I'd wear this colour anytime. And the, the texture is um it it's it's like a satin matte feel so it's not dry it's not too drying and it's not too moisturizing and I can tell you one thing these lipsticks from Lush they last all day they're very pigmented they don't dry out your lips and they are really 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 long wearing um, so this is another really nice color which I was very happy to receive it's just a perfect color for my skin tone the final lipstick I kept from Lush was this colour, which was Kinsara, it was called. As you can see, I've worn all of these lipsticks already. Okay, so this was the shade Kinsara. Am I pronouncing that correctly? I think it's Kinsara. Kins, no, Kins Hassa, Kins Hassa, that's the shade. So yeah, this is a good colour, this is a bright colour, this is more of a reddy brown colour. So almost like a brick red colour. So I really like this colour again. And all of these colours I can wear without lip liners, which I you know to me that, that tells me that it's a good colour for my skin tone. But I naturally always put on lip liner. But all of the products I'm wearing today, I'm going to try and put them on without lip liners if I can. So this is the Kin Hassa colour from Lush. So that was the third one from Lush. And as I said, all of these lipsticks from Lush, long lasting, they're not too drying. Um, they're a semi matte colour. If you're someone who suffers from dry lips, I would still recommend putting on a lip balm first. Not too much, just, just something to hydrate your lips. But they're not drying out products. And I just think they're such gorgeous colours. Really, really like them. I was very grateful that I received these. So there you go. Right, so this is another one I purchased. Um, I wanted just to try out really the formula and I thought the colour would be okay as a nude colour. It's from L'Oreal. So these are the current range of lip products from L'Oreal Paris and they're called signature lip colours. So I think they've got them in matte and they've got them in a metallic. I got this one in a matte and the shade I got this in is Stand. So um, I haven't even opened it yet. So let's have a see, see what this is like. So that's the wand. Colour should be okay as a, as a nude colour for me. Let's see. Oh, very nude. Practically my lip colour, look. This is the kind of lip colour I like because I can use this in different ways. Um, especially as an ombre so I'd put a darker colour on the outside and then put this on the inside this would be a great ombre colour yeah ice cream vans now Easter holidays kids are around and we've got an ice cream lady she always knows when the kids are out Kayla's downstairs as well so I wouldn't be surprised if she comes running up soon to ask me to get her an ice cream 
this is literally my lip color um, but better so there's no hyperpigmentation or anything or discoloration in my lips perfect I mean it is my lip color and that's a perfect perfect nude formula it's a satin I would say it's a satin uh, matte again it's very comfortable it's not drying it's a nice color isn't it it's a really nice color so I think I'm gonna be buying more of these I can't remember how much they were I think they're a little bit more pricier um, around the 10 pounds mark maybe but again I'll put the correct price up above but yeah love this color good choice Sandra yeah um, nice color and I'm gonna look and see what other colors they've got in this formula actually really like this mmm oh I like yeah definitely like the next brand of lipsticks was recommended to me by a subscriber and a fellow YouTuber. Her name is Nat M U A K M U Nat M U A K or U K. I'll put her details down be below, so don't don't worry. And she recommended this brand to me on Instagram, saying that um, she I think she had a friend or someone who she knew who was producing lip colours. So it was a case of like I could get one lipstick and I could get one free so these are the two lipsticks this is the packaging really nice packaging the brand is called i think it's called lace v lace i can't see i'm pretty certain it was called v lace I, again i'll put the correct details up on my screen because you know i can't read the small print and i bought two shades so i bought a shade called ego and a shade called homey hear me I don't know how to pronounce it. It's spelt H E A U X me question mark. So is it hear me, hold me? Don't know. So they are the matte collection. Look like that. Um, have I taken that lipstick off? That colour was so nude. I don't know if I've taken it off or not. It's the one before. So this is the first colour, and this is the shade hold me hooks me I don't know what it's called um, so there you go nice large size product let's try this it's quite a bright color okay as a color that's a good color as well isn't it it's just a good deep burgundy color um, very matte creamy to put on it's almost mousse like in the texture it's almost like yeah it's almost like a creamy moussey kind of texture when you put it on um it is it's very comfortable to wear it does dry down um very much so you can see it's drying down very quickly look so it dries down very quickly so it depends on how matte you like your lipstick so this dries down very matte um, again it's one of those products again if you suffer from dry lips or you don't like the the feeling of dry lips put on a little bit of lip balm first we've had loads of lip balms in beauty boxes we got that eos one the egg one from one of the beauty boxes last month now use that underneath and then put this on so blend your lips out then put this on top and it'll be more comfortable to wear but it is a very matte lipstick it's fairly long lasting I must admit I found that it wasn't as long lasting as say the lush ones but you're still going to get a good few hours wear out of it I mean I wore this all day to work so you know a good seven eight hour day um, and it only faded a little bit so it, it did well it's just that I know with the lush ones I mean I must have got about a good 16 hours out of that so you know what I mean but that to me is extraordinary because I ate with that you can eat with this but it will fade obviously and you'll get that whole butthole thing going on you know that when it all starts to fade out in the middle but yeah this is a good color though isn't it so this is the color hoax hook 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 ho oh, oh, ho yeah me that one it's nice though and it was a very affordable price again i'll put the details up on the screen above and i'll link it all down below as well but yeah i like that right again in the same brand that v lace is the second shade i bought which was ego a bright red color so let's put this one on same formula the matte collection Okay, so this is the colour Ego from the V Lace collection. 
Um, what I found with this one, it's not as pigmented as I would like on the top. So I need to go in again to put a second coat on my top lip because my top lip is darker than my bottom lip, which is quite a common feature with deep skin tones. So just to get that good colour, consistent colour all the way through, I need to do a second coat on the top. There you go. But you can see this is a really sexy, sassy red colour. If you want to go out and do some proper whatever later on, this is the kind of colour you want to wear. Right, that last lip colour has really messed up my face there. So I just need to get a fresh, um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do here. Might need to put a little bit more makeup on just around my face. A minute. Bit better, isn't it? Right, okay. And this is the last one I bought. And this one I also bought from ASOS. ASOS are really good because they've got decent prices. And, you know, if you use the Quidco, I always talk about my Quidco. If you use the Quidco down below, you get 12% cashback. The cashback takes about, they t they're a bit slow on the cashback. It takes about three months to, to come back. But it all adds up because I buy loads of things from ASOS, including the monthly beauty box. So, you know, it all adds up and then I just use the money, push it aside and I use it to treat myself later on. So this I saw and I thought was quite interesting is a lipstick and a nail varnish. So let's see what this is like. And again, very affordable price. The colours look nice for summer, spring, summer. And it's called Dare to Love Yourself. Oh, 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 okay. Right, I thought it was just a lipstick and nail varnish. It's not. So we've got the lipstick here. Damn, that's a, a bright colour. That's maybe a little bit too much hot pink for me, but we will go with it. Um, then this is what I'm surprised at is this. So this is a, it's an eyeshadow, folks. Okay. Ooh. That's not bad, actually, is it? That's not bad at all. And we've got the, whoa, look at that as a nail colour. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm putting that on now. So my face is getting gradually more and more oily. I think with this lip colour, I'm going to have to put a lip liner on. So let's try the colour first without a lip liner. You hear the little feet coming up the stairs? Hello. You coming in? You're hungry, right? I'm just going to, right. See that? I'm being asked to cook. Let me do this and I'll come down and cook your dinner. All right? Yeah? Give me a few minutes. Okay. You want to come and join in? You can sit behind me. Okay, so lipstick's um, moisturising, so that's good. I'm going to say hi. Say hi. 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 <laughs> okay, so that's a hot pink. Hot pink. Right, hot pink. There you go. You can have that. Then this is the eyeshadow. Okay, so it's not too dry. That's what it looks like. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, wow, Kayla. It's pretty. You want some? Let me do the other eye first. I knew you'd want some. This is so pretty. Here, help yourself. Put it on your eyes. Your mum's going to kill me again. Wow. Now, that is a nice little collection. Yeah, you got it on? You put it on? Oh, you look so pretty! And then the nail varnish. Let's put some of this nail varnish on. Okay. I'm just going to put a little bit on. Okay. My nails have got stuff on them already, but I'm sure it will be. Oopsie daisy. Like <laughs> oh, so the nail colour, it's like a topping. Right. Yeah, it's like a topping. Okay. So it's like a glitter topping. So this is what's on my nails at the moment. It's in a bad state. But that's like a glitter topping. So, ooh. Ooh, we like that. Can I get yeah, I know you'd want some. I thought you was hungry. <coughs> I am. I just want to do this. Alright, let me... I'll put some of this on after dinner, yeah? Is that okay? Yeah. Deal? Alright. So that's what the...
topping looks like. It's very quickly put on, but ooh, wow, I like. I thought the colours were going to be too bright for me, but actually I think I quite like it. Where's the lipstick? Yeah. Right, so, so in this collection you get a lipstick, you get the nail varnish, and I think what I'm most surprised with is the eyeshadow. Mmm! You like that all, don't you? Alright, we'll have a play after dinner okay but yeah there you go so those were the lip products which i've been talking about for ages and i wanted to just show you what i've been buying recently so you can see i tend to go for rather deep wintry colors so the berries and the reds and then i do occasionally go for the hot <laughs> i do occasionally go for the hot, hot colors as well but yeah why not cool right if you enjoyed this video <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like down below. And whilst you're down there, if you haven't subscribed as yet, press that like button. To, um, <laughs> you're distracting me. And whilst, if you haven't subscribed as yet, whilst you're at it, you might as well press that subscribe button down below because there'll be more videos to come. And by pressing the subscribe button and the little bell, that will notify you when, I, when my next video is coming. <laughs> this one here, honestly. Take care. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>